this Christmas, I'm throwing a party and making as much as I can ahead. So I'm inviting you along the whole way so you can do the same that I am. Why have a stressful Christmas party when you can make some things ahead and not worry about them till the day of the party? Today's is a really simple spinach artichoke dip. And no, it is not like those heavy laden dips that you're used to where you kind of feel like a gut bomb after you eat it. No, this is made with Greek yogurt, yet it has all the flavor and no one's gonna know the difference. Only you will, and that's really what matters. Let's get started making this great dip. To make these simple, use frozen spinach. Yeah, you could do your own and cook it and then take it out. It's just too much work. Frozen is so easy and it's good. Just the night before I'm gonna use it, I put it into the fridge and make sure it thaws. Pull it out of the fridge, put it into a colander that's fitted with some paper towels or just a dish towel and strain and squeeze as much of that liquid out as you can. You want the spinach really dry or you're just gonna have a watery dip and no one wants that. Yes, the paper towel probably breaks, so I use a few layers. Just squeeze it really well, put it into the colander, and then set it aside. To prepare the artichoke hearts, open a can of artichoke hearts. Yeah, we're just using canned here, people. Let's make this simple. Don't buy the marinated ones or the flavored ones, just a can of artichoke hearts. Drain them, make sure they're pretty well drained. And then just chop them up throw them right in with the spinach. Set those aside till you're ready to use. Next, just chop and prepare all the vegetables. Start with a red onion. I'm using red because it has slightly different flavor and I think it really balances out the dish. Chop it up fairly fine, then mince some garlic. I just cut off the ends, smash them with the side of my knife, and then just pull the skin right off. Some red pepper. Red adds really great color, and honestly, green pepper is just not one of my favorite things. Red really is just slightly better. And some cremini or brown mushrooms. Brown do have a different flavor. It is important to use them here. So make sure to use cremini. They really saute down to like a deeper, rich flavor. Heat your olive oil over medium high heat in a large skillet. Once it's kind of shimmering and coating the bottom of the pan, just add your onion. Season it with a little bit of salt and pepper. Let that saute till it's translucent, not too brown, but just starting to get kind of clear. And then add your garlic, pepper, and mushrooms. Stir those around, saute them up, make sure the mushrooms are gonna be really cooked down. This takes about five minutes. You want those mushrooms to almost be non-existent, but they are gonna extrude so much flavor and really do the job they need to do. Once the mushrooms and onion, garlic, and pepper have all really sauteed down and become really browned and delicious, you can add in some lemon juice that's gonna wake everything up and some Worcestershire sauce. Is it Worcestershire, Worcestershire, Worcestershire? I don't know why people say Worcestershire because it doesn't even look like that. It's Worcestershire. We can just all agree. You and me, we agree. Reduce those down just for about a minute and it's really gonna extrude all that flavor. Next, just add the prepared spinach and artichoke. You kinda need to break up some of that spinach because you spent so much time making it really dry that it's gonna kinda clump together. So just break it up. Once the spinach and artichokes are worked in, just make sure to season this with some salt. You can taste at this point, everything is cooked, so if you wanna taste it for flavoring and seasoning, that is completely fine. And then add your Greek yogurt, that's right, Greek yogurt, and a little bit of mayonnaise. We're just doing a little bit of mayo here, you don't need to overdo it, but it adds that tang and the creaminess that you really need. Stir it together. You can, of course, if you want it more creamy, add some more yogurt or mayonnaise, but just stir it together till it's well combined, taste it. And at this point, you can either serve it up directly like it is warm, or put it in an airtight container into the fridge for up to two to three days. That's right, you can make this ahead and have it ready to go. I love things like that. Did I mention it can be served cold or warm? It's good either way. I like it warm, but if you wanna do it cold, do it. Put it right into a big serving bowl. Put a little bit of crumbled feta on top because it really plays well with the tanginess of the cheese and the creaminess of the dip. 
and then just serve it. I like it with some sourdough bread pieces, maybe some vegetables sliced up, a little bit of crudite around. Really, you can't go wrong with this. It is gonna be a hit, and no one's gonna know that it was made with Greek yogurt. And no one needs to know because it's good either way. I can't wait for you to try this, and I hope you agree. If you do, make sure to click like below and subscribe to the Gray Boxwood channel, because I love to hear from you, as long as I like to hear good things. Okay, I'm joking. You don't need to only say good things, but I do like those things. This whole season, I'm bringing you along, so make sure to keep checking back for my Christmas items that can be done ahead and have a great stress-free party. Until then, Merry Christmas.